Hello, welcome back to Keep On Legoing. If you're new here, my name is Caleb, and today with us, my friend Anthony is joining us to do some of his sets that he brought along with us. And this is a channel where we do leg reviews and leg related stuff. So here we have three Star Wars sets that are battle packs. Is this one battle pack? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have three battle packs right here. And right here we have some, I have a mock that I made out of his pieces, and we also have some of his custom made minifigures, which we'll get to at the end of the video. So anyhow, we're going to start reviewing this set right here. This is set, what set number is this, Anthony? 75089. 75089. This is a battle pack. I do not know the name of this set, but uh, who cares, right? It's, Just look at the number. It's called Geonosis Troopers. Oh. Or Geonosis Clone Troopers. Geonosis Clone Troopers. So can you give them a close-up look at that up there? So that is basically the set. As you can see, it has some functional legs that move because it has joints. Yep. Like that. It also comes with four mini fingers that will all have these uh, blaster stud shooter things, which is also included right here on this thing right here that also shoots it like that. Don't worry, we'll find the pieces afterwards. <laughs> here is the. I'm not going to shoot these because uh, we might lose them, but uh, we'll find those. Somehow. Anywho, here are the four. Here's the one example of the minifigure that comes with the set. And uh, yeah, I think it's a really cool little battle pack for the price, which I'm not sure what the price was, but I'm pretty sure it's cool. But uh, yeah, anywho, that is the first set that walks around. And I think it's a pretty cool set. What do you have to say about this set, Anthony? Um, it's really good for uh, getting clone troopers. It's really good for getting the minifigures? Yeah. Okay. Radical. Moving on to the next set, which is set number... 75166. 75166. And, uh... Here it is. It's a little, another battle pack, and, uh... It, uh, has... Comes with four minifigures again. Can you show us the close-up look at the minifigures, sir? Thank you. That is the general guy who uh, only has one sided face, and I like his hat a lot. This is a flame trooper who has the flamethrower and the really cool helmet and the backpack thing, and I like that one too. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Here's uh, another, another uh, regular stormtrooper who has a shield, and uh, yeah, the that baton, type baton thing. thing, which in the movie Force Awakens, which is, oh crap, which is what this set is from, my friend Anthony made an interesting discovery that this thing right here is uh, whenever Finn and uh, one stormtrooper fight together, and the stormtrooper has this uh, little saber thingy, and he whips it out, and he's like, traitor! <laughs> and then he slices Finn's like back in half, and then destroys his body. So yeah, that's uh, basically what that... <laughs> part of that is. And so yeah, the second stormtrooper is just a regular stormtrooper, as you can see here. Now moving on to the actual uh, speeder. speeder itself. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's leave it. Um, here it is. Uh, it looks like not much to it, but I think for... It, it has uh, guns on the front and the back. Yeah, it's got one of those stud shooters on the back end. It's also got it on the front. And uh, not really a lot to show you with this set. So I'm just going to give you a little uh, look at that. But I think it's a pretty cool speeder. Uh, I definitely like these speeder builds. I have a couple myself. So yep, that's that. Again, that was set number 75166. Uh, I'm not sure what that's called either. And then moving on to the second one, can you just pull out the instructions on your phone for us right quick, sir? It's set number 75132. 75132, Star Wars First Order Battle Pack. And here it is in all of its glory. Uh, looks like a... I don't even know what it looks like, but uh, can you show them that and all the functions of it? Uh, so yeah, it rotates on the upper portion of its uh, body. And, uh, and it shoots a stud, because it has a stud shooter. Do you want me to shoot that? Yeah, just, you can shoot it at the camera. Alright, that's not very good. 
and uh, what I also saw was that on the side, there are these two open-y, closey things that you can open -y and closey. And uh, there's a little control panel right there that is inside of that. And then I'm not really sure what goes inside of there. But uh, that just opens and closes like that. And uh, overall, it is a pretty decent set. All these battle packs, I think, are a bit a bit too expensive, but uh, for their size. Yeah, that one was fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Wow, that's I, I consider that expensive, wouldn't you? And then here are the stormtroopers that come with it. And then uh, yeah, one of them has a uh, different printing than the other one. And then here are the two other guys who uh, I don't know what they're. I don't know what they're. Officers. Officer. <laughs> Officer. So yep. Yeah. Those are the three sets we had for today. Um, they were all his sets again, and uh, they're, I think they're all pretty cool. Uh, leave a comment down below on which set you thought was your favorite or least favorite. Or if you hated all of them, I don't care about your opinion. But uh, anywho. <laughs> uh, moving on to... Those are all the sets. Uh, moving on to the mock that I made. Uh, this is what I found. I was just r rummaging through his Lego collection, looking <laughs> for pieces, <laughs> and then... I just I just uh, pulled together this little mock right here. I think it looks pretty sick and nasty, and I think it's a good uh, build. It's all it's a it has the Kai minifigure from Ninjago, which I put in there because to match the color scheme, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool, like a hover speeder, like that. And then yep, I thought that was a pretty cool thing. Now go ahead and show us your um, personally made. Figures. So he made, he has two figures, and the first one he's going to start with is the, is this one. Uh, Can you tell us what that is and show it to the camera? Right. Uh, so. <laughs> so. This is my Lego custom terrorist. <laughs> yes. Um, he made this using one of these, uh, little, I'm not even sure what those are called, but. Uh, like a, a towel? Egyptian towel thing. And, uh, yeah, I was this just, is less, this I is was, really cool Lego custom terrorist. I was trying to make it a castle guard, but then I I built a Lego AK-47 and then just thought it would look pretty good. If you had it, if you had it combined with the terrorist. And as you can see, this gun magazine right here, he used an actual minifigure arm, and I thought that worked pretty well. <laughs> so, uh, again. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is, again, this is Lego custom terrorist. Give it up for Anthony for making a, his own terrorist. I, mean, I, I really think that we should... <laughs> I think we should present the idea of terrorist Lego theme to Lego ideas. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You can show us your second minifigure. Alright, so this is my Lego custom Anakin Skywalker with his special Jedi robe. <laughs> and. I don't know why Caleb's laughing. I think it's actually really spectacular. <laughs> and um, also, I'm also really proud of this of this custom built lightsaber. It looks pretty. It looks regular to me. It's custom. Oh. <laughs> but and one thing I'm really proud of is I printed this face myself. Did you really? Yes. <laughs> Again, this is Anakin Skywalker with his, uh... Yeah, that, it, that's from Red coat, three. or actually, no. Uh, it's blue. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Green coat, uh, jacket. And what I was, what I was saying about his uh, Lego custom terrorist minifigure <laughs> is that you guys know the Lego the theme Ideas recently came out with a Lego Tron set, whatever that movie is. Never heard of Lego. I never heard of the movie Tron, ever until I heard of the Lego set. So anywho, Lego ideas. If you have um, any ideas for what we should do for this Lego terrorist theme, please let us know. I know um, the idea is kind of been taken by Star Wars or Chima because um, Chima is terrible. It's a terrible theme. But anywho, yeah, please let us know if it's a good idea to present the idea of a Lego terrorist theme to Lego ideas and make it an official theme, or maybe just a one-time Lego set. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun making it. Personally, I did. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, um, again, please make sure to comment down below on what set was your favorite or least favorite. And uh, please make sure to comment down below on our uh, really cool, on his cool mini figures that he made and give him some love for that for those because, really, you put a lot of heart and time into these. And uh, especially that terrorist. Especially the terrorist, yeah. So comment, also comment on if you think that we should enter the idea of making a Lego terrorist theme. Um, also, do not let, do not tell your friends about this video because it will be demonetized because of the terrorist that you figure. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time with more Lego videos. And as always, keep on Legoing. <laughs>